it looks like we're hey, getting this started. Is, this is uh, Xander, so it's out of three, right? Yep. All right, out of three, out of three. Let's see what this Luigi does against these Icy's. So the thing that Viz was doing really well in Winner's Finals is he was doing so much damage to Nana anytime he got them separated. Yeah. Just tons of damage coming through. I mean, absolutely. And that, that's with these Ice Climbers, especially... No, I, I shouldn't even say special Mike, because Mike Slowpoke got a lot better. Back in the day, you know, he was known for doing the wobbling, and he was known for his uh, double Icy Climbers. But now, like... He, he's taken some some ridicule for that, and I think he's been working on his Sopo. Sopo is really good. So, I mean, right there, you're right. He got rid of that Nana, and let's see how his Sopo does. And, and Nintendo Sopo's, you know, as you said, becoming a force to reckon with in this region. I'm not sure how he's going to try and play it, if he's just going to try and put on as much damage as possible before he gets back to both climbers, or if he'll just go for the stock and go all in, try yeah, and get rid of this Luigi. I mean, and that's, that's what Icy's want to do. They want to take off, like, two stock before you even take off one of theirs, or before you even, like, kill their Nana. Uh, so right now, I, I like to say that the, that uh, they have stock and a half, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So right now, he's at he's at three and a half stock because he's lost his Nana. Right. Um... Yeah, it's so much harder. And now he's at three stock with a nice dare from Viz. These short hop dares seem to be catching Nintendo off guard today. Well, the, the short hop dare puts, puts Luigi in a really awkward spot for the Icy's. They would have to get under him, know that he was going to be doing that, and try to get like an up smash off. It puts him at an the awkward level for them where, you know, their dash tacks and a lot of grabs, you know, go under him. Yep. But he's not high enough to where they can like jump up and do an up air or something. So it's a great tactic. It separates them. It hits them hard. Uh, it's a great move. Yeah, look at that. He's putting all that damage on. He's like, get out of here. Get as here. soon as he gets them separated, he just goes so deep for Nana. He just says, hold on, you're separated? Like, screw Nintendo. I'm, like, look at him. He's positioned to hit Nana again when she comes back down. Yeah, and, and that's what... Luigi's good at that. Luigi's got those small, fast aerials. He's really compact, and he can put out several aerial aerials in one jump. If you got a character like, um, I, don't, I don't know, like, like, like Ganondorf, where he's going to do only one big hit, the Icy's could probably capitalize on that. Like, the Pope the Popo could jump in and be like, no, nah, get off my woman. But Luigi can hit the Nana, and then before Popo gets there, have another area out hitting the Popo. So that that's that's why I think he does so well with that. It's a great stretch. <laughs> and the crowd in the background now going to start cheering for Luigi as well. Sitting at three st three stocks, or as you like to say, po uh, Ice Climber's at two, two and, and a half. half. He's only at two and a half right now. The Te percentages are about the same. Technically, Luigi's up. I mean, if he, he can take this stock with Sopo right now, and it'll be three stocks to two, and then Luigi can come back and maybe take even more damage. I wonder if they time out like one stock to one stock and no mana. If this has an argument like, no, he was at half a stock. I was at whole <laughs> stock. I win. I don't think that rule exists, but yeah. it would be funny if it did. It would be, it would be great. They're both having a really hard time getting in on each other. Nintendo finally finding a grab, but no follow-up. There's the up air off of the double jump. Back air actually does it. Yeah. So the Sopo pulling through for Nintendo. And that's the thing. I think people underestimate Sopo. Like, haha, you're not as gone. Let me jump in and do stuff. But it's like, no, I got a back air that's going to kill you. Mm -hmm. What are you, Falco over here? <laughs> Nintendo actually whiffed a wave land there, and that cost him his stock. And that was in a situation where he really wanted to put on a lot of damage with yeah. the, the, the remaining you know, breaths of his Sopo, but instead we're in an even situation, two stocks. Oh, that was an unintentional. And oh, he's going to get wobbled for it. Is this the first wobble we've seen? This is the first wobble we've seen this set, that's for sure. Did he do it last time? I think he tried to, and he never got one. That's critical. This yeah. game was so even up until this point. Or Vist, and you know that dash attack was unintentional. No oh, one, yeah. no one sees a Luigi dash attack. Well, and, and that that's why we play into this strategy of hey, kill the Nana. You know. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Well, Nana's that a Phantom, or did he just what was no. That? Nana has Nana has a lot of invincibility off of that move. You have to time it perfectly. Oh, I did not know. She's that. intangible for a very long time. I did not know Nana's invincibility frames. Oh, there we go. He's Only even up the game. Only took 35%. If he can get rid of Nana, he's going to be in great shape. But if he gets... This is what it comes down to. He's gotten out of the wobble. That was maybe Nintendo's chance to take it. So Nintendo probably going to kick himself if he ends up losing this game after dropping that wobble. 
What's so frustrating about being a player and, and doing this matchup? Oh, he's beat Luigi's beating the heck out of them, but he's only at 20% because he's put all the na damage on Nana. So it's yep. so frustrating being like, okay, I, it should be tied. You look at the percents and you're like, what? How is this Nana uh, absorbing all of this damage? It's so frustrating. So hey, look uh, how far she's flying yeah, just exactly, on one fair. Exactly. So oh yeah, it's gonna that'll do it. Nicely done by Nintendo. And. The yeah, it's it's the you were exactly as you're saying they were trading hits this whole time, but his damage was going out to Nana and Nintendo's damage was going to Luigi. Yeah, he was literally at twenty percent. Yeah, for that, that's as high as that stock got, even though it looked like this was bringing it back. So we're going right into game two, instant counter pick to Dreamland. Now this is supposedly this favorite stage, great stage for Luigi. Great stage for Luigi. Uh, I don't think it's the best for the I mean, It's pretty open. And they can survive pretty long, but I mean, I guess, you know, Luigi has that same uh, advantage. So I guess wherever wherever Lu uh, Miss feels comfortable is a good choice. Oh, he actually, Luigi misses on stage, and Tendon's gonna punish that. He gets his double jump back, so he's gonna help himself to some free damage here. I do like this recovery. He has a really strong recovery. He knows what he's doing. He's very familiar with the character. He's been game for a long time. I like it a lot. The Viz Fireball coming out. The other thing about Dreamland that I like seeing Viz do, he's very good with movement. He uses the platforms to get through a lot of the low-level Ice Climber stuff. Low to the ground, I mean. Low, you know, stuff like Blizzard and Ice Block. He can use platforms and Wavelands, just as you see there, to get in against uh, Ice Climbers. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, that, uh, that uh, icy thing, the, the, what's it called? Uh, which one? Ice Block? Not the Ice Block. Oh, I mean, Blizzard. Blizzard. Whatever it is. It's got a lot of range. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of range. I was trying to fight him earlier, and uh, I was trying to space him out, and I was still getting hit by that, that yeah. blizzard. Uh, so yeah, it's great that Luigi has that tactic. Like, hey, I'm going up on this platform, getting away from you. Is Luigi still zero percent? Ah, I expect this thing. He's still at low percent, and could kill off this not on uh, uh, this. I'm sorry, the Sopa, yeah. And, Ooh. Uh, not enough. Big stage. Yeah, great DI from Nintendo. It went straight to the corner, but that down air will finish it. Yeah. So. Um, and, and I mean, and that's what you see from these top players that don't use these top tier characters. They can do it because of their DI. You know, Vist can play this high level because his DI is so good. And oh, here we go, guys. That was unfortunate. The tech roll in everyone's bane of their existence when they say, "Oh, you're gonna chase me? Let me let me shock you with a tech roll in." Nintendo, so patient, waited it out. Yeah. And he's gonna get this wobble for it. He's gonna have to wobble really high because Dreamland. But there uh, he gets there it. Go. Gets a narrow off after that. I think Nintendo was thinking he was going to get a grab, but those quick nares pop out fast. And there's Vist using that platform again to try and get in. That time Nintendo had it scouted. Now he's got an edge yard situation. Yeah, Nintendo, he knows what he's doing. He'll, he'll adapt it when match. He'll, he'll adjust to your play style. It's not just... People like to say, oh, well, he wobbles, that's what he does well. He's a great player. He would get into those matches where he can wobble or where he needs to wobble if he was a bad, bad player. Exactly. You know, he didn't wobble once versus me. He didn't need to. He was, he's good. So he beats all the people he needs to beat and then uh, you know does what he needs to do because he's a competitive player. I respect that. Whoa, that dare had some weird SDI or something on it, because it looked like Nana, or Popo flew right and then left. We're down to two stocks apiece, but Luigi sitting at 118. A rogue down smash, up smash might even kill him at this point. Although it is Dreamland. We've got some big blast zones. Good approach using the platform. strategy here needs, needs to be, yeah, approaching with that platform. Get rid of that hey, It's just too dangerous right now. Well, so far, he's doing a great job. He's getting grabbed, but yeah, no Nana. Nana right there. That's huge too, because if he if if he gets dropped to his last stock, he'll be in a situation where he can get rid of Popo quickly, and then it'll just be one stock apiece. Yeah. And this this could be the last match. There's only three matches. Oh well, yeah. Out of three. But there's a second set if Nintendo wins. Oh, that's true. Why I'm no professional commentator. <laughs> it is you. Don't lie. Don't lie to us. Great fair from Vist. Yeah, it's just from slow playing. That's what you need to do. Oh! He's, he's wow. got this back so hard. When when Nintendo started that last stock,
Vist was at 118%. He took 10% getting rid of both climbers on that stock. Absolutely. Absolutely. I just had someone turn to me and say, did that spike? Yeah, it did. It sure does. Uh, I'll keep him nameless. <laughs> Uh, but yes, that, that can spike at the right angle. So we're back to last stock here. And this isn't a game, you know, in last game it was pretty even until Vis got wobbled. This time, again, same thing happened, got wobbled, but he brought it back. Oh, if you can get rid of that Nana, you won't have to worry about that. And that's what I'd be going for right now. Just get rid of that to fool. She's got her and, in the air. And if you're paying attention, uh, Mike falls back. Mike knows he needs her. And he, and Vis needs to watch him. Vis needs to, like, I think take advantage of that. Mike's gonna fall back. I'm sorry, excuse me. Nintendo's gonna fall back um, and do that repeatedly to see if he can save the the Nana. Take advantage. If you know that a player's gonna do something, predict that and then you know, do something to capitalize. Oh, well, looks like he's in a really nice situation now with no Nana on the map and a percent advantage. Nintendo needs to make something happen with the Sopo. Never disrespect Nintendo Sopo, but he's he's starting to take a lot of damage. Double jump still alive for Nintendo. There it is. Yeah, and Nintendo just took some trades right there. Trade hits. He's not in a position to do that. And that'll do it. Yeah. And it was very smart by Vist. Took the double jump, waited for the squall. Fair. It's all over. Yeah. 1 1. Game three of possibly the first set of grand finals. Who are we, who's coming through? Why are we hearing sound? I think we're just hearing people over there. Is that Big Wins? Is that loud? Big Wins and Logic, yeah. All right. So what's the what's the counter pick? Yeah, the gains are pretty high. I think someone who was on my mic they turned up the gains really high because he was quiet. And now I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty high up. At any rate, so the counter pick for Nintendo is gonna be Pokemon Stadium. I don't know. I'm not sold on this pick. I understand Luigi can die from top, but you know what? He's been killing with those down smashes. Luigi's been killing with uh, off the top with those uh, down airs. He's got a lot of uh, moves that can come off the top, too. Look at how smart he is going for Nana. He gets her just far enough so that Nintendo can't belay her back. Really smart. And and now that it's down to a Sopo, it's hard for Sopo to kill off top. Um, obviously, the grab, uh, you know, down throw, Nana up smashes. That can kill off the top really easily, but now, I don't know. I don't like this pick for Nintendo. I think it's bad choice. And so far, it's showing one stock already down in Vis's favor. Vis might actually double eliminate Nintendo in today's Xanadu. This wobble's gonna make it an even game. Oh, but the stage transformation might save him. Uh, didn't come up in time. So they're gonna wait each other out. Vis doing the smart thing, charging up his tornado. Yeah, it's such a stable recovery. Nintendo getting some desync set up. <laughs> Look at both of them, they're so stone faced. They know like at any point if one of them just runs over, it's a big deal. Both of them so on top. None of those tense situations where both of you are standing still. That's actually know, so right? scary. Look at Vist again, being really smart in how he approaches using platforms. With a 2 on P PS1, he can just sort of move around and bait Nintendo to overcommit underneath those platforms, and then Vist can just punish. That's not it right there. Done. It's so unfortunate for Nintendo, he might have actually had the chance to bring her back, but he phantomed an up air, and there Vist was able to land and keep comboing Nintendo. Look at that, even percent. Oh, and Nintendo messed it up, that's okay. I feel like that was his intent. <laughs> his intent was to put on more percentage so that the stocks would be easier to take. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Good, fair, reading the tournament winner. This is Vis's game to lose, you know? Like, if he just keeps playing the way he's playing, look how he's staying back. Like, hey, I'm gonna throw these crappy little fireballs at you. Yeah, don't get grabbed, don't get wobbled. Stay back, you're winning. He's gotta come in on you. 
Oh, and right as that happens, he gets around. But Nintendo messed up a little bit. Oh, I think it's like the edge up right there. I'm not too sure. The double but, back air finally takes that, it. Now it's time. You know, and this didn't have to go in. And, and we see Nintendo wobble. We know he plays to win. We know he's going to be patient. You have to think like Nintendo. Nintendo's not going to go on you. What theoretically has to if you're winning. Now that option's gone. Real quick. Popo might be at 41%, but Nana is taking a lot more hits than Popo. Might even be somewhere around 80 right now. Yeah. Look at Nintendo being very careful, staying under the platforms. The dare comes out. He might have gotten Nana there. No, she grabs the edge. Oh, you could just take her out while that Popo's in the air. Boom, there it is. Nicely done by Vist. Just needs this edge guard, and that'll be the the last stock for Nintendo, possibly of Grand Finals. Full tournament. Exactly. <laughs> My God, the movement from Vist is so strong, and he doesn't always do it too. He whips it out when he knows he needs it, when he knows Nintendo's gonna expect something different. Uh, but I mean, that's how you gotta play. You know, that's the old thing: float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. It, it means stay back, do your thing, you know, wait till your opportunity when it, oh, you're floating, you're floating, and then when your opportunity comes, you strike like that, you come out like that. And, I mean, that's playing so smart, because if you showed you had those maneuvers, th then, you know, Nintendo's going to get used to it. That was a nice down air. I think he even baited out a back air from Nintendo. That looked like the spacing. And now, Vist with two stocks to the last yeah. stock for both climbers. Vist needs to stick that. Slow play this. To get rid of that Nana, because wobbling is still an effect. That's still a possibility. He's going in too strong, in my opinion, especially being at 120%. He's going in way too strong. He's being very careful near the edge. Nintendo's actually giving him a lot of space, too. Now he's got Nana in a bad situation. Double jump, she's gonna not. Oh, great belay from Nintendo. Wonderful maneuver by Nintendo. But it wasn't enough. The F Smash might have actually just ended it for Nana. This is it. This is the last Sopo Mike has, or Nintendo has, in this tournament. Great control shown by Mist. I, I look at, I look at uh, Luigi as so random, so sporadic all over the place. So it's impressive when Mist has so much control over him. How patient Vist is. Ah, he's like tamed the beast of Luigi. <laughs> he really has. Nice downer, That's pokes through the shield, and that'll be there. grand finals. Yeah, Vist. 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 Have you ever won a, a, a melee Xanadu? We're trying to figure oh, out. yes, this is this is actually the second time Vist has won a Xanadu weekly, but the first time he won was the one week that Gimmer wasn't here to stream it. Aww. So now we have evidence that it's happened. I'll have I'll have you know Res live that I've won two Xanadu. I'm not surprised. I think I was actually I commentated one of them. One of them. There might have been only been four people who entered, but I still won. It was a weekly and I won. So I guess I guess this is now on my level. I think he has two. I guess so. Do you remember